Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing uh, polynomials and uh, this is the lecture number three. I hope you have already watched part one to part two before watching this part three. So in this lecture, I am going to dis discuss about the remainder theorem, uh, factor theorem and remainder theorem as well. So both of them are um, there and we will discuss them how to deal with this. So say uh, Px be any polynomial if uh, First of all, then I'm going to discuss about factor theorem. Factor theorem. What is that? If Px be any polynomial, if Px be any polynomial, polynomial in x and x is equal to k, x is equal to k. and x is equal to k will be will satisfy satisfy the condition p k is equal to 0 then x minus k then x minus k is a factor of polynomial x minus k is a factor of polynomial polynomial px right this is what that if k is equal to 0 then put x is equal to k and px become 0 then k is 0 of polynomial and it is only possible if x minus k is a factor of polynomial for example uh, if i am looking for a question uh, where uh, this is given as px is equal to say x cube minus 3x plus 2 like this if i put x is equal to 1 the polynomial p1 become 1 cube minus 3 into 1 plus 2 and that will be 1 plus 2 minus 3 is equal to 0 so therefore x minus 1 is a factor of x minus 1 is a factor of polynomial x minus 1 is a factor of px and to get this factor we can divide px by this x minus 1 so to get factor what will be the other factor we can divide it x cube minus 3x plus 2 divide by x minus 1 simple division x square will be there and that will be x cube minus x square but since there is no term of x square so after uh, changing the sign this will be negative this will be positive you know and uh, this two are cancels x square is positive 3x is another term and plus 2 so we have to proceed for what the next term must be x so that it will be x square x square minus x but again if you put here minus sign and that will be plus in that case this x square will be cancelled and 3 minus 3x plus x is minus 2x and plus 2. So since there is x to, so to bring minus 2x, what you need to multiply by minus 2 and in that case it will be minus 2x and minus 2 multiplied by minus 1 is plus 2. After changing the sign this will be plus, this will be minus and both are cancelled. So that will be 0. So another factor is uh, x square plus x minus 2 you know that dividend is equal to since dividend is equal to divisor divisor multiply by quotient plus remainder divisor multiply by quotient plus remainder you know so here remainder is 0 remainder is there is no remainder so we can write it x cube minus 3x plus 2 can be written as x minus 1 x square plus x minus 2 again further this is a quadratic equation right so if we'll put x is equal to 1 again it will be 0 so similarly x plus 1 x minus 1 is again factor but quadratic factors can be calculated x minus 1 if you'll put x is equal to 1 here again then it will be 0 again so we can put it since x square plus x minus 2 if we put in 
this if we put x is equal to 1 this will be also 1 square plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 that is 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and hence x minus 1 is a factor of factor of x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. It means uh, here if you will put it like x square plus 2x again you can divide it even middle term split can be also possible but I am just telling here about factor theorem so that is why I am doing it this step again x minus 1 you will divide it by x this is x square minus x sign will change minus plus this will be cancelled x plus x is 2x minus 2 if you multiply by plus 2 it will come to x minus 2 and that will be cancelled you know so here this x square minus x minus 2 can be written as again divisor multiply by quotient that is x minus 1 and x plus 2 so from first this will be what that in place of this we can write x minus 1 and x plus 2. So, these three are called factors. These three are called factors of this and this is a factor theorem in which we can identify factor of any, poly, any polynomial by putting value uh, if there is a 0 then that will be factor for x is equal to alpha if fx becomes 0 so since if fx be a function fx be any polynomial not necessarily that it will be always px it can be mentioned as fx also be any polynomial or polynomial or function it is also called function or function such that such that that is why f is noted x is equal to alpha will be such that such that for x is equal to alpha for x is equal to alpha if alpha is equal to 0 f of alpha is equal to 0 then x minus alpha is factor of fx factor of fx this is what you have to learn now there is another thing which i would like to tell you that is called remainder theorem uh, remainder theorem remainder theorem what is that a remainder so to get remainder we can also use this factor theorem that uh, if px be let me write if px be any polynomial any polynomial polynomial and px be any polynomial whose degree is more than one whose degree is degree is greater than one greater than or equal to 1 or equal to 1 1 and and x minus a and x minus a <coughs> is a linear polynomial linear polynomial then px is divided by then when px is divided by px is divided by x minus a then remainder k is given by remainder is given by given by p of x is equal to a if you put pa is remainder remainder is pa remainder is given by p a means for x is equal to a if you put you will get the remainder if uh, similarly this is the application of this if a 0 of the polynomial then p a must be equal to 0 in that case remainder will be 0 so p a will give the remainder and that we will use for example find remainder if the question is there i am just taking a question find the remainder in x square minus x plus 2 when it is divided by divided by x minus 2 then to get remainder we will write here solution so to find remainder to find remainder 
e remainder a is given by remainder is e2 and if you put e2 is equal to then that is remainder is p2 as per remainder theorem 2q minus 2 plus 2 that is 2q is 8 and minus 2 plus 2 so minus 2 plus 2 cancel and that would be 8 so remainder is 8 when xq minus x plus 2 is divided by x minus 2 the remainder is 8 only and that will be the answer so if you don't believe you can divide it let me verify this xq minus x plus 2 so xq just for sake of convenience i am dividing it uh, for check um, let me verification verification i am doing this just for your people uh, have believe that it will be given by this so if i divide by x minus 2 then it will be x square that will be x q minus 2 x square sign will change and it will be x q x q cancel that will be 2 x square minus x plus 2 if you multiply by uh, divide by 2 uh, x again then 2 x take 2 x here then 2 x square and 2 multiply by 2 is minus 4 x sign will change again this will be minus this will be plus and x plus minus x plus 4 x is 3 x plus 2 and if you multiply by 3 here again so that will be 3 x minus 6 and if i take negative sign positive sign there this will be cancel and 6 plus 2 is 8 and this is the remainder so that is the verification of all what i said to you that remainder is given by 8 here also instead of dividing this whole process you can use this one only and you will be definitely able to get the answer in that case answer is 8 only and you will be able to get it so hopefully you understood what is this uh, remainder theorem and accordingly we will use in questions as well so let us do some questions and uh, during the questions we will discuss whatever things is required and uh, what is important for you so now exercise 3 2.3 i am going to discuss here exercise 2.3 today uh, because uh, previous exercise has been already discussed so now let us discuss this one uh, as per remainder theorem and uh, this one uh, remainder theorem and factor theorem okay so the question is first question was given find the remainder find the remainder note down the remainder when x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by is divided by what the first is x plus 1 second is x minus 1 by 2 third one is x fourth one is x plus 5 and fifth one is 5 plus 2x these are five questions and we have to deal with one by one so let px is equal to we will write here let solutions let px is equal to what is px uh, this polynomial x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 do you know what is this x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 it is nothing else but x plus 1 whole cube you can write it also like this if uh, to find remainder so to find a remainder to find a remainder huge remainder theorem a remainder theorem theorem and in first question remainder is given by x plus 1 is equal to 0 that is x is equal to minus 1 so p minus 1 is remainder and if you will write here minus 1 plus 1 whole q that will be 0 so remainder is 0 answer right now the next one to for second question second question x is equal to x minus 1 by 2 so remainder is given by p 1 by 2 why because x minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0 
and then x is equal to minus 1 by 2. x minus 1 by 2 is equal to 0, therefore x is equal to 1 by 2 and therefore remainder is, remainder is given by, that is given by p of 1 by 2. If you put p 1 by 2, then this is 1 by 2 plus 1 whole cube and that will be 1 plus 2, that is 3 by 2 whole cube and that will be 27 by 8 answer. For third part, you will have put uh, again the same thing, that is x is equal to 0. So, remainder is given by x is equal to 0. So, remainder is given by remainder is given by given by p0 and that is 0 plus 1 whole cube that is one answer and for fourth question what is that see uh, x plus pi is equal to 0 so x plus pi is equal to 0 that is x is equal to minus pi so by remainder theorem remainder is what a remainder is p of minus pi that is minus pi plus 1 whole q that is 1 minus pi whole q this is the answer so i can write it like this because polynomial i have reduced in form of x plus 1 whole q so instead of putting values in this polynomial you can use in this polynomial as well now the fifth question is 5 plus 2x is equal to 0 so we will use it 5 plus 2x is equal to 0. 5 plus 2x is equal to 0. This employee 2x is equal to minus 5 and that is x is equal to minus 5 by 2 and therefore remainder is remainder is p of minus 5 by 2 that is minus 5 by 2 plus 1 whole q that is minus 3 by 2 whole q and which is minus 27 by 8 answer so that is the simplest question i think so you can do it and it becomes simpler as it is reduced in form of x plus 1 whole cube now the next question and that i am looking for from this topic that is second question find the remainder the same find the remainder the remainder when x cube minus a x square plus six x minus a is divided by divided by x minus a so again uh, you can go through the same process and solution can be given that x minus one is equal to zero that is x is equal to a so therefore by remainder theorem you can write it a remainder theorem theorem a remainder is given by a remainder is given by is given by p a p of a that is p a right so that is what p a and p a is a cube minus a into a square plus 6 into a minus a so that will be a q minus a q plus 6a minus a a q a q cancel 6a minus a is 5a and that will be answer of this question i hope you are getting the points right now maja raha hai and maja raha hai acha theek hai chalo ab agla question dekh lete hain question number third and third question is what check whether Check whether 7 plus 3x is a factor of factor of 3x cube plus 7x. So to check factor whether they are factor or not, put 7 plus 3x is equal to 0. Right now, we can look, uh, think like this. Solution is there. Put 3x, 7 plus 3x is equal to 0. And after doing that, what will come? It will come like uh, put 7 plus 3x is equal to 0. That this employee 3x is equal to minus 7 and x is equal to minus 7 by 3. If I will put x is equal to minus 7 by 3 in this polynomial and if it will become 0, then it is a factor. Otherwise, it is not a factor. 
So putting x is equal to minus 7 by 3 in a in polynomial in polynomial which polynomial 3x cube plus 7x and we get we get what we get 3 into minus 7 by 3 whole cube plus 7 into minus 7 by 3 and that is 3 into 7 q is 343 and minus uh, this is 7 and divided by 3 q that is 27 so 3 9 ja 27 minus 7 7 ja 49 by 3 so that will be what if I will write this, this will be minus 343 by 9 minus 43 by 49 by 3 minus 49 by 3 right now 49 by 3. If I will put calcium then it will be 9 and uh, this is 343 minus 3 3 is 9. So 3 multiply by this is 147 and uh, of course and this won't be equal to 0 because there are two negative terms now. So that will be 7 plus 3 is 10, right? And 4 plus 4, 8 and 1, 9 and 3 and 1, 4. So 490 upon 9, which is not equal to 0. And therefore, 7 plus 3x is, a, is not a factor of h. not a factor of factor of 7 x cube what is that polynomial wise 3 x cube plus 7 x 3 x cube plus 7 x i hope you got it 3 x cube plus 7 x that is the answer right okay so this uh, exercise is completed you have seen that we can uh, derive factors as well from this and we can go with the factor theorem and uh, we can have factors on this also. Now let us see uh, what is uh, there can be another way to ask the question. Factors are also multiple. So questions can be asked like this that multiple, multiple, multiple word and that you have to understand what is that multiple of one polynomial with another one polynomial of other polynomial of other so language is like this what is that try to understand let me write whether multiple of one polynomial of other polynomial let me write complete one whether A polynomial age a polynomial age multiple of other age multiple of other polynomial multiple of other polynomial ye check karna ho agar kahi par aisa bhi question mein likha hoga right now so we will use it whether one is multiple of other so same concept is there just i am writing one question to verify this concept that how to deal with situations so now question is uh, say there is a question uh, let me check 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 whether the polynomial whether the polynomial polynomial qt is 4tq plus 4t square minus t minus 1 is a multiple of is a multiple of multiple of 2t plus 1 2t plus 1 right now this is what question check whether they are multiple of no so that is a factor or not. 
So again, the same process you will adopt and to verify them. Multiple means try to understand that the QT is equal to QT is equal to 2T plus 1 into some multiple, say RT or XT or whatever. There is another polynomial. This multiply by some other polynomial or some constant, isn't it? So say QT is equal to or may we write PT, some other polynomial. So 2t is a factor, then only call 2t must be a factor if it is a multiple of this. So, if it is a multiple of uh, qt, then 2t plus 1 must be factor of it. And to find factor, you know, put what? x 2t plus 1 is equal to 0. And that will be t 2t is equal to minus 1 and t is equal to minus 1 by 2 this employee t is equal to minus 1 by 2 and t is minus 1 by 2 if I'll put in the polynomial if it will be 0 then definitely it is a factor and since it is a factor it must be multiple. So put x is equal to uh, t is equal to now t is equal to 1 by 2 in polynomial putting t is equal to minus 1 by t in polynomial polynomial pt is equal to qt is equal to 4 t q qt is equal to 4 t q and the next thing is plus 4 t square minus t minus 1 plus 4 t square minus t minus 1 we have what will happen <coughs> t is equal to minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 q plus 4 into minus 1 by 2 whole square minus of minus 1 by 2 minus 1. So that will be coming like uh, what? 4 into minus 1 by 8 plus 4 into 1 by 4 <coughs> minus minus plus 1 by 2 minus 1. That will be 4 to the 8. So minus 1 by 2, 4, 4 cancel that is 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancel and plus half minus half cancel and therefore 0. So since it is 0 and therefore we can say 2t plus 1 is a factor of factor of qt and hence 2t plus 1 is multiple of multiple of qt that is 4t q plus 4t square minus t minus 1. So this is the proof of all this. Uh, I hope you got it. So somewhere it is written in this term multiple. Don't worry about that. This is the same thing. Nothing extra. You can go ahead with the same factor theorem and you will be able to do it. I am sure about it. So this is all about this topic. The next topic we will see the remaining uh, questions and uh, remaining exercise as well but in this uh, topic this is all about and uh, you understand what is the factor theorem i hope uh, you got it isn't it and um, you have enjoyed it as well to find because actually uh, definitely you have enjoyed it a lot i i hope so because instead of uh, going with all these huge process of division uh, what I said earlier, uh, you have to find uh, for remainder, you can use it and just find the remainder in so quick way. Uh, here is instead of going with this whole long division process, uh, you can find the remainder in just quick seconds by using this. So that is why remainder theorem is very beautiful concept and you will be able to find whether they are um, factor or not. And if they are factor, not factor, then what will be the remainder when a polynomial is divided by a linear polynomial? So fully, uh, you have heard and loved it, the theorem and uh, the concept as well. So keep watching. Um, we will see in the next lesson, uh, next lesson, and in the next video we will discuss about some other factors like how to factorize them or any other concept. So we'll keep watching. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless. Keep watching and do subscribe this channel. Don't forget it, right? And uh, if you want to actually uh, find the uh, some 
other study material you can visit our uh, website www.arvindsingh.com a uh, lot of more questions and study materials are available on this website so this is our website where you can find uh, some tests and some questions as well uh, which is extra so that's all god bless